Hey guys, kumusta kayo? So I'm putting this video up because marami tayo na-reducing the questions about how I'm set up here in the studio that I have just converted it into a, a mini home studio. So we can do this shit. One way or the other, we're gonna have to do this. So I was saying, I'm putting this video out because marami tayong na-reducing the questions about how we're set up dito, how I'm doing this, I'm recording, and the, the equipment that I'm using. It's most especially the microphone that goes along with it. Um, I'm gonna go through all the, the microphones that I, that I, uh, that I have used uh, sa, sa mga videos ko. And then, basta. Actually, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six microphones, all in all. One, I have this dynamic microphone. And then I have, I have this condenser microphone, which I'm pretty sure you've also already seen me use this. And then I also have the Condenser micro another condenser microphone, which is the BM800. This is one of the most popular, low-priced, mass-produced microphone from China. Or, I think so. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is uh, the BM800. And then, I have this, my Shure uh, stage microphone, which is also a cardioid, which is also a cardioid microphone. Uh, we can focus that. It doesn't. If we can focus on that, yep. So that's that's the sure microphone, and oh, yun. And then we have this Boya MM1, which is a mini shotgun microphone. Right now I'm using the lapel, which is this microphone. And then we also have this microphone, which is the Samson G Track Pro, which is the more expensive microphone, a studio condenser microphone, which is a super cardioid microphone with three polar patterns. Maganda siyang gamitin for, ano, for, for your online streaming and uh, voiceovers or podcasts. Now, we're gonna go through all the, we're gonna test all the microphones that I just mentioned. So, para mag-check nyo how they differ in sound quality. The lapel, this is connected directly into the phone camera. I'm using the Note 8, by the way, to record all the videos that I've uploaded so far. I am using a live sound card, the V8 live sound card. Maganda kasi dito is may ano siya, may may microphone slot yung dynamic microphone and you have the condenser microphone ports for the 3.5 millimeter jacks for uh, earphones and headsets so i think this will really come in handy for people now who are, who are also into this thing vlogging and uh, online streaming this is one of the best uh, equipment that i could that i that i could recommend aside from from getting the, those usb sound cards na kinoconnect lang sa sa so it's a laptop because this one it has a built-in battery by the way so you can charge it up and from from experience this lasts three to four hours for single charge so nadadalaw siya kahit saan so you can use it anywhere and uh, it has uh, the 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 reverb reverb uh, level control here or the echo level control and then it has a bass and treble uh, controls dito sa left actually sa right side ko and then it has a monitor for your zero latency audio monitor para you can hear sound na ina-output niya maririnig niyo real time so you can you can hear yourself here and i've also recently gotten myself a new equipment uh, a new mixer uh, for my dynamic microphones so this is what i got uh, the yamaha mixer with phantom power so you can also connect a condenser microphone here fortunately v8 live sound card works with the condenser microphone just fine so it's able to power it without without it, without any issues for some reason, hindi ko lang talaga alam kung bakit yung, dy yung dynamic, when the dynamic microphones don't work well with this one, but medyo mahina siya. When it's supposed to be na yung dynamic microphones is just plug and, plug and go or plug and play, it, it doesn't require any, any additional voltage to make it work. When in, in the opposite, it's supposed to be the opposite of the, the condenser because the condenser uses for, it requires so, these require 48 volts of power. This also requires, uh, these two requires 48, 48 volts of power. And these types of microphone don't necessarily use 48 volts of power. But for some reason, they, they don't work well with, with, my, with my mixer, uh, with, my, with my live sound card. And these two work, worked really well. Medyo ano siya, medyo opposite nga siya na for, for some reason. But, yun. Okay, so we'll go ahead and test the BM800.
So this is the BM800 and this is how it sounds like connected to the V8 live sound card. Yung maliit na interface na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. I have the gain or I have the volume control set at 50%. So this is how it sounds like. And this is another one of my microphone that I use. I'm sorry but I forgot the name but I'll post it in the comment section when I, have, when I look it up because I don't have the, the name handy. Uh, I forgot. But anyways, um, the best thing about this microphone is that it has a built-in volume control. So you can control it from here if you want to, which comes in really handy if you ask me. And this is the Boya MM1 that I use for when I'm outside, which is also a good alternative for bloggers. Um, if you want to if you wanna go outside and record and uh, shoot outside, this wind filter works really well. But it can also be removed if you want to. Again, it's connected directly into the V8 Live sound card and I have the gain set at 75%. So this is the Mega Pro microphone that I also used in one of the videos. This is now connected to the mixer and then the mixer is connected to the V8 Live sound card. I've had this for a while actually. This is ito yung pinakaluma kong microphone. Dati ko pang ginagamit to. Yun, I've used this in several of my gigs and so this is the Shure Beta 57A. Medyo matagal na to sa akin. I can't even remember when I got this but and this is connected to the to the Yamaha mixer and then the mixer connected to the, uh, the V8 live sound card and its gain control is set at 50% so you and this is how it sounds like so this is the Samson G track pro and it is connected directly into the V8 live sound card and the gain control on the on the card is at 50% but the Samson G track pro itself has a built-in volume level control for the microphone and um, and a master control for for the audio output so it will really come in handy so so ito yung control niya for the for the microphone volume so you can turn it up should you need to wag lang natin gawin because it's really sensitive and it picks up the the, the audio sa ano sa sa, head, sa headset natin so nag, nag feedback siya so major it has a really powerful audio uh, output and then and then and may, may overall master control din siya because this also actually this is this microphone itself has a built-in preamp so if you're if you're if you play the instrument or if you play uh, a guitar it has an input on the back and this is a 3.5 millimeter port real-time zero latency monitoring so you can you can listen to yourself speak and know exactly how you sound like sa recording so yun Mag maganda tong microphone na to, medyo hindi nga lang siya mura but it's an investment if you're into this field if you're into podcasting voiceovers so yun i hope this answers all your questions and uh would also help you decide on which one to get thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one